Hello, this is Jeff Jensen with Go Engineers Tech Support. I'm going to show you how to create a custom hole wizard size that we could use to uh, insert a new hole, like a tapped hole. So the first thing we need to do is just go into the toolbox configure, and that's where we're going to create this uh, custom hole wizard size. So first step is we need to copy a standard, an existing standard that we could actually edit. So we're going to go ahead and try to count, uh, we're going to copy this ANSI inch. So if we select copy standard here, give it a name, I'm just going to call this copied standard. And this usually takes a, a couple minutes here to create this standard. Uh, we'll skip through this though. So. All right, now that our uh, custom standard is created, we can go in and edit that. We could either edit existing whole wizard size sizes or we could create new ones. So to do that, we need to go to the customize your hardware tab. So we'll select number two. Uh, then we can select our copied standard, go into whole wizard holes. We're gonna do a new tapped hole. So now uh, you can see that we could uh, edit existing ones um, if we wanted to, but we're just going to go ahead and create a, a new one. So, and we're going to create a half inch, but instead of having like a 13 uh, pitch, we're going to have like 16 uh, threads per inch. So we'll just do half and 16 pitch. And this is telling us that uh, we need to enter the thread data or else uh, we'd get an error saying that it cannot find this thread data for this size. So we'll just say okay to this, go to the thread data, do the same thing here. These are now editable, but we wanna add a new one for our custom size. So add new row. And then we'll just go ahead and fill out all the, the property values here. The most important uh, entry we need to make here is the full size. This is actually how uh, SOLIDWORKS knows which thread data to uh, that corresponds to the size that we entered in the in our first property. So we need to make sure it's the same. So we're going to enter in the one half dash sixteen, and then say OK. So we'll notice when we uh, scroll down to our new size listed right here at the bottom. When you scroll over, we'll have one half dash 16, and that's what's gotta match up with our sizes. Uh, so it needs a match up here. So we do need to add that, so we'd have a problem. So um, now that we've entered in our data, all we need to do is save. And that should be it in the toolbox config. We can go ahead and close that, and now we should be able to add this custom hole wizard size. So we'll change uh, to tapped hole. We're using our uh, copied standard. Change it to tapped hole. And we want to use our half inch dash 16. And there we go. That's it. Again, my name is Jeff Jensen, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.